Hey guys, what's up? So I'm trying to figure out from the community here um, what the best editor is to use in Django development. I've been jumping around like from one to the next. Um, typically, like I'm using like Visual Studio, which is kind of unorthodox or uh, you know uncommon because most people in the Python community they're not touching Visual Studio since it's a Microsoft project. But then I hear a lot of people say that I should use the Sublime editor. But the problem with Sublime is that um, it doesn't really have very good IntelliSense. So then if you wanted to do IntelliSense, and hopefully you guys know what IntelliSense is, it's where it you know, automatically detects what you're trying to type and then gives suggestions. Um, the best tool is probably, for at least Python anyway, is uh, the JetBrains PyCharm. But the problem that I find with PyCharm is, is it's just an inferior product to Visual Studio. Like everything from the navigation menus to um, the fact that it's a greedy bastard when it comes to memory consumption. So it just seems like... Um, it it's almost impossible to run multiple projects with JetBrains, at least uh, the PyCharm product that they have. They do a ReSharper project for C-Sharp, which is like phenomenal. Um, so I guess I'm just spoiled when it comes to using Visual Studio because uh, as far as I'm, I'm aware, I mean, it, it's the best editor by far. I've used Eclipse, and I just find Eclipse to be terrible. So I know a lot of you guys recommend um, the Atom editor, and I was using it for a tutorial series I was putting together. Um, it you know looks really pretty, doesn't have nearly the features of either PyCharm or Visual Studio in my opinion, and, and really just uh, is an inferior product. But it is open source, and I think it, it says a lot that you know people were able to put this together, and it gets better over time. So um, I think that's good. I use Windows 8.1. I can tell you with Atom, sometimes it just freezes up for like. 15 seconds even though I got 16 gig of RAM and a pretty decent processor and it'll just lock up and I have no clue what the hell it's doing and then all of a sudden it'll just start working again so that's like a common occurrence when I'm using Atom another problem I have with Atom is that there are so many packages out there for doing uh, Python development I, I never know which one is the good one I typically go with whatever has the most downloads but sometimes those are out of date so I guess the community sometimes confuses me with using Atom and I think that's one of the downsides just the fact that it freezes up doesn't have as many features as PyCharm or Visual Studio and um, way too many packages to figure out which ones are good and which ones are bad like just even executing Python code from the actual editor I have to download a, a plugin and then um, I haven't even done that yet it was a suggestion on one of the videos that I do that for a tutorial that uh, I'm using Atom with so I'll look into that, but once again, it's just like another package that has to be downloaded to do something that most editors just do out of the box. Um, a lot of people talk about Sublime Text, and uh, Sublime Text kind of revolutionized this whole look and feel with the different you know, fluorescent colors, which is pretty cool. But um, the problem with Sublime uh, is, once again, it's just a lack of features. I think that it's a, a quicker product, though, uh, from what I've used of it. It's definitely quicker than Atom. It doesn't have those weird glitches and freezes. Um, but once again just lacks uh, product support the problem with Visual Studio even though Visual Studio is really nice um, is that it doesn't have the latest and greatest so when Python 3.5 comes along the Pi Tools doesn't work with it which I found out yesterday or earlier this morning one of the two um, there's also issues like when I'm writing JSX code which React JavaScript uses Visual Studio doesn't have any support. People have been asking for the goddamn thing for like two years, and Microsoft is basically giving people the finger and saying, "Hey, we'll get to it when we get to it." And they don't seem to, you know, have any sort of urgency there as far as trying to get some new products to the floor, especially if it's not going to make Microsoft money. Um, so that is definitely the biggest downside to Microsoft, and um, probably the, the same thing can be said for PyCharm as well. PyCharm has a uh, a little bit more of a, a niche community so I think you know they, they have a little bit more uh, openness to getting new features to their editor uh, but they're not perfect as far as being able to get the latest and greatest um, I absolutely hate PyCharm's menu system um, so when I'm looking at all the files and, and the structure of my application PyCharm I think is, is terrible at least the version that I have um, as far as I know, I was never able to figure out how to like make the text on the left hand side any bigger. Um, but then just you know when it comes to running the code in the editor and stuff like that, I find it to be um, just inferior to what I get with Visual Studio and um, yeah that so I mean that's kind of the downside. 
Um, and really, I, I, those are the main editors that I can think of. For a while, I used like Aptana Studios, and um, like I said, I definitely would not go with that. Um, clear winner for me, if I had to recommend, um, is Visual Studio, just because it does so much, especially if you want to branch off into some C-sharp development, maybe do some Unity game programming. Uh, Visual Studio is, is going to help you and take you a long way in that regard. So I would say Visual Studio number one, PyCharm number two, probably Sublime Text number three, and then Atom is a, is a number four, and then everything else is, I think, distant um, b behind that. Um, I'm probably missing a few. Like, I know Python's editor is terrible, the one that comes with Python, which is idle, and um, Eclipse is terrible for me, uh, and there's one that I'm also, that I use for a long time, and it's like... Um, I can't remember what the hell it's called, but anyway, it, it was not that good either. In fact, it was terrible, I would say, because once my project got over uh, a certain size, like it basically couldn't function anymore. So uh, I can't remember the name of it. So I guess I'll spare, you know, publicly. Uh, uh, shit, I can't think of the word, but publicly crucify whoever made that product. Anyway, it was terrible. So. All right, guys. Um, yeah, let me know. Uh, just uh, let me uh, let me know if I'm missing any editors there that I could try out. I, I feel like with Python, I'm a bit torn just because I'm bouncing back between Atom, Sublime, Visual Studio, PyCharm, and just kind of bouncing between. I'd like to have one specific, you know, Python Django environment, and I'll be yet to find that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.